Hey guys, Gomer Random here. Uh, I'm about to be doing a little home project here. Custom wrap, removable coating, gloss, midnight black. And I've done it before on other grills or emblems I've done on other GMCs and Chevys and things like that. But on the 2020 Escalades, their grill is completely blacked out with a gloss similar to this. And this is a 2016. So my process or thought process is if, if I could paint this and help it to be protected from rock, because I got rock chips all in my my grill here and I don't like having it. So I'm going to paint this with this and hopefully it protects it, also makes it look better and see what happens. So I thought I would show it how I do it. But weather isn't exactly how I want it to be done today because it was a little bit sunny and the wind wasn't blowing, but it helps it dry quicker. And you want to put enough coats that way if you don't like it, because if you, you, put, if you put enough coats on it, you can peel it off. And that's what the great thing about this stuff is. is you, all you gotta do is peel it off if you don't like it. And it can kind of be a pain. So that's why I've sealed off the edges real easy. I mean, you wanna make sure the edges are real precise because it makes it kind of a pain in the butt if you don't like it and you wanna remove it. So you make sure you have it in there as perfect as you can. And then I've coated out here. <laughs> And even if you do get some overspray with this stuff, it's great because all you gotta do is just get a microfiber towel and then it wipes right off. I mean, it's kind of a pain in the butt sometimes, but it comes right off and you ain't gotta worry about scratching your paint because it, it don't scratch. So there's really like a win-win, there ain't no lose situation here. But it, unless you don't coat everything, because you'll have it all up in the corners and be like right now, I don't, I got a bad spot right there that I need to. And there's some spots that I'm just gonna let it get coated and then I'm just gonna come up back and peel it off later. Instead of getting it with that tape, almost a pain in the butt. So, see there's a spot right there that I need to catch. Thought I had it all done. Slide this tape underneath it. Because it's weird how this stuff works. It's sometimes, on some grills, you can just spray the whole thing and then peel off the part that you don't want and it leaves it perfectly. But I've already tried it once on this grill and it is a pain in the butt. For some reason, it just don't peel off the way it usually works. So that's why I did some extra good coating around here and here and here and here because. It's got to be done right or it when you, because here it becomes a problem. If you don't get this edged right, when you spray and it dries and you come to peel the part that you don't want, like say if I missed it right here and I go to peel it, it'll somehow grab on the part that you want it to stay on. So you got to make sure you're doing it pretty good. So I think I'm about ready to start. do start off this light light coat and this stuff's already been sprayed before that the wind's blowing <clears throat> because it wants to blow all over the place and I've had it for it was a nice pretty day to start on this and the clouds came and then the wind came <sighs> but, oh well. and see this sometimes gets little stuff on there It'll blow it on there, and you don't want to do that. So you got to kind of keep wiping the tip off.
this first little coat. I don't get real particular with it because you just want to slightly get the coat on there. That way your first, your first coat will start to dry. crazy spraying that kind of expensive grill with this stuff. It's awesome man. And the grapes. The part about this stuff is only ten bucks. Can't beat it. So I'm gonna do a few coats and then I'm gonna show you the end product whenever it gets there. Hey guys, here's the finished product here. Um, it came out really, really well. I did a pretty darn good job with it. I'm very happy with it. This was 10 bucks to get done. 10 bucks in a couple hours worth of work. I mean, you just can't beat it, 10 bucks. And this grill right here is $1,200 online to get a factory blacked out grill. 1200 bucks. And uh, I mean, I just, I'm very happy with it. But some things you gotta pay attention to. When you rip out all this stuff, all the tape and all the prep that you had done with it, you gotta make sure these edges, when you gotta go really, really slow. I wish I had a record of it, but I'm a one man band here. And I wish I could have recorded showing you because it's very delicate work whenever you come into these edges, peeling that tape off. So you just got to be real gentle with it. And then once all you get the tape off, that somehow another spray goes through this stuff and it gets in the edges and here, there and whatever. But you need to make sure you wait a day or so to let all the rest of this dry really, really good. That way when you come back tomorrow, Whenever you have time to do it, you can come in and peel all these little edges because see there's some in the fins that got in here. And you want to make sure to come back and get all this out. That way you have a really good, pristine, factory looking job. Because it ended up just looking great. I'm very happy with it. But to get that finished look, you want to come back and get all this little stuff, little bit of stuff in here. But you don't want to do it until it dries because you risk accidentally peeling off the good stuff. You want to make sure the, the bad stuff comes off by itself. But anyways, 10 bucks instead of 1200 You can't beat it. Have a good day.